everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hi, hello, my name is Kyla and my channel is just a plethora of all things that I love. And today we are finally doing part three of my 400 subscribers, the reality of being an adult collector Q and A. So yes, I am filming this back to back as the first two videos and I'm so sorry it has to be split into three parts. I just talk way too much and I can't help it. And my throat is like driving me absolutely crazy. So this video is like slightly, but not at all sponsored by Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. So if you have not tried this, go try it. I rarely drink pop, but when I do, it's Dr. Pepper or Sprite. And this is my first time trying this and it is amazing. One other thing, my usual, if you didn't know, I'm legally blind. So if you see me doing this, that's so I can read your great questions. All right, when I film for way too long, I just go absolutely crazy. So this video might be the one where you see like the real side of me. Anywho. Um, I thought about switching up who I had on my lap, but it's prim, so I don't, no one else is worthy of this. Anyway, so the last category is just everything doll related. So you guys did ask me, you know, who's your favorite doll, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this. So let's begin. All right. So are there certain dolls you have a special bond with? Why do you have that bond? So there's a couple and I'm going to list them off really fast. They're not all here, but I'm going to tell you, if you know my collection, you'll understand. So Kit Kittredge was my first American Girl doll ever, so obviously huge bond. Kirsten Larson was my favorite doll when I was little, little. And she, we don't touch her very much because she's extremely delicate right now. So Kirsten, definitely. Um, Elizabeth Cole, my literal pride and joy of my original childhood, 11. Huge bond, definitely favorite doll from my childhood collection. Um, Sophia, my Blair Wilson, was my first adult purchased doll. So she's very special because she is the reason that everybody after her exists. Um, Penelope, my first custom doll. She is, she's very, very special to me. And I have a huge backstory for Pen, and that's partly why she's super special because I've really developed her character. Not all my girlies have personalities, but Penelope definitely does. Prim is also super special to me because um, yes, my mom and dad bought her for me, but they purchased a majority of my childhood collection, not the adult one. They've only bought me two dolls in my adult collecting and they were for my birthday and Christmas. But Prim is special because she came from one of my favorite AG tubers ever. So that's why Prim is special because she came from Allison. And um, I think that's really it. As far as like bond, you know, I definitely have the strongest bond with Elizabeth, um, but that's kind of that's who I have the biggest bond with. And I'm I'm a really sentimental person. So if I tell you I have a bond with a doll, it's not just like, oh, I'm gonna pick a random doll. Oh no, I have a bond with them. So the next question is, who is your favorite doll in your collection? So I, I'm just gonna tell you guys straight up, it kind of changes a lot. I will have a favorite for months and months and then it will be a totally different person. Or, you know, doll, oh my God. See, I told you, the real Kyla. <laughs> not the real Kyla, but you know what I mean? like. I've been talking way too much. So Primrose is my favorite doll out of all my collections right now. So Primmy is definitely, she's pretty darn special right now. As far as everybody else, um, let's see if I can do this without messing up. You know what, here. So this is my Hollywood style Megan and she is my favorite Bratz doll that I own because Megan is my favorite Bratz character and she's actually fairly new. I just restored her. So I love my Hollywood style Megan. She is gorgeous. Um, my favorite Rainbow High doll is my Stella Monroe and she has a mark on her nose. We all know this, it's a very depressing thing, but yeah, this is Stella. I love Stella, I love Stella's hair and it's, she's pink, so you know what I mean. Um, okay, please don't knock over Rock Angels, Chloe. Um, my favorite cheerleading rainbow high doll is Cheer Violet. She's the reason I bought the rest of the line. I love my Cheer Violet. Then as of right now, I only have four OMGs, but my favorite is Spicy Babe. She reminds me a lot of my best friend and she is my best friend's favorite and I love Spicy Babe. I don't have sweets yet, but I talked about that in another video. I love Spicy Babe. And my second favorite is Big Wig. And so that's kind of where we're at in terms of my favorites in each doll line that I collect. So I just wanted to do that because yes, Primrose takes the cake for everybody, but um, those are my other, 
my other favorites right now. So the next question is, how do you store your dolls? So I get this question a lot and I haven't made an updated video of how I store them. So right now there's not a lot of room for them and it's very sad, but I have these two big Amor things in my room here and I put a lot of them up there. I know you guys have seen a lot of them on my headboard and everyone's like, do they fall down? No, they don't fall down. So I will most likely be doing an updated, you know, how I store them video, but I don't know if I want to do that until after I move. So I'm not quite sure yet, but that is how I store them. It's, I like to display them. I don't want to buy them and then put them in a box and only see them like once a year. That's just not how I collect because I need, I need them to be around me. Okay, so next up we have... What is the worst buy you have ever made from American Girl? So I really haven't had terrible experiences buying from American Girl. Um, I just knocked on wood because I don't want to jinx myself. Basically, the only problem I've ever had was with Rhiannon, my Courtney Moore. Her curls were just super, super crazy, and I ended up restoring them, but I put them, I made them more loose and not so super tight and defined, so I think she looks better that way. I really haven't had any horror stories, honestly, thank the Lord. So it was just, her curls were not perfect, but it was fixable, so it really, you know, I don't have anything terrible to say, really. Um... What is the first kind of doll you fell in love with? So I had baby dolls as like a toddler, you know, and um, had Cabbage Patch ones, but Kit, Kit definitely, um, she was, you know, she was my first big girl doll, if you will. So Kit was kind of the first real doll. I had Barbies, like I said, and Brad's and my scene, you know, like everything you have. I was too old for Monster and Ever After High. So, you know, too old as in like, I was a teenager and not into collecting dolls, you know what I mean? So in my teenage eyes, I was like, no, but now I kind of really wish I would have collected them as a teenager because I love them a lot. I just don't have enough room. That's why my Ever After High collection is non-existent and my Monster High collection is only one doll. But next question is, what keeps you motivated to take such beautiful photos? Oh, thank you. So the photography thing for me is very difficult because of my visual impairment. So it, sometimes it's really hard because with these guys, their hair, if it's windy and their hair blows in their face, I will take what I think is a beautiful photo. And then when I get inside to edit them, I zoom in and I see they have like strands of hair and it's, it's very, very difficult. But um, I, Honestly, the one thing that keeps me motivated right now is I got a new phone and it has like three cameras. So it's like insanely awesome. And I'm not gonna spend a ton of money on like a camera camera just because I do this for fun and with my vision, it is very hard. So I don't need a camera. My phone is just perfectly fine. So, and you know, just the positivity that you guys, it really means a lot to me because I enjoy taking pictures and just if I can take pictures, anybody can take pictures, honestly. So the next question is favorite doll to, okay, favorite doll line to collect. So originally they asked American Girl doll lines and I will probably say the historicals just because that is the doll line that I have the most of and I only collected historicals as a kid. So that definitely in American Girl, it is historicals. Um, right now, it's Rainbow High because I just completed their collection, except River, but we don't talk about him. Um, so it is Rainbow High right now. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be OMG for a little bit, um, but yeah, right now it's Rainbow High. And the next question is, what made you want to start collecting again after 10 years? Um, Blair Wilson. I just, if you guys know the story, I'm so sorry, but I randomly thought of American Girl when I was at work one day and I was like, Kirsten Larson. And so I looked up Kirsten Larson, found out she was retired, discovered this Blair Wilson doll and was like, oh my God, her skin is as pale as mine. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if people, you know, do YouTube about this. And the very first AG2 video I watched was Kylie and Paige of It's the Doll Place. And I was like, this is great. So that's how I kind of discovered everybody. So um, I just kind of realized, you know what, this was something I've always loved to do. And when I was a kid, it was kind of like my escape from reality. And since my anxiety has gotten worse as I was, you know, as I got older, my anxiety got worse and my depression, um rears its ugly head about once a month. If we get lucky, once every two months, but you know what I mean? So I always figured these guys were a really good escape 
from reality and a really good calming coping mechanism, I guess you could say. So that does not mean, oh my God, I'm having a bad day. I'm going to go spend $110 on American Girl. No, do not do that. If you are having a bad day, change their outfits, do their hair, take some pictures of them. You don't have to buy a new one every time something goes wrong. So I know if I'm getting super anxious about something, I will go in my room and hang out with these guys. And that kind of leads me into like, people are always like, do you play with your dolls? No, not in that aspect of like making them talk. Cause I think stop motions are really cool and I would do them if I had the patience, but I don't. So some of them I do have personalities for, but that's just because, you know, I'm creative and you kind of base some of their outfits around their personalities, like prim, total girly girl. And I don't play with them in the aspect of, like I said, making them talk to each other and stuff like that. But yeah, I play with their hair. I redress them. I, you know, take pictures of them. So I play with them like an adult collector would play with their dolls. What is your dream doll? So for American Girl, we need new face molds. But if we're talking like if I could create a create your own because I have so many saved I am obsessed with the idea of a pale skin Addie mold with blonde hair and blue eyes. And I think that would be my first create your own. Don't quote me on that. I could be totally wrong, but I think that is like the cutest thing ever. And if you guys, I have her saved in my create your own thing. You guys need to go play around with the create your own thing and do like what I just said, the blonde hair, blue eyed, Addie mold with the pale skin. It is the cutest thing. And I think I gave mine freckles. I can't remember, but it is just the cutest, cutest thing. Um, as far as rainbow high doll, I would like a rose gold one. That'd be fun. I know we're getting marigold and I know we're getting rose, but you know, I rose gold. Let's go. Um... OMG, I'm not super, you know, familiar with them. Okay, so they have like the Ariana Grande doll and they have Melanie Martinez doll and a bunch of other celebrities, but those are the only ones I really care about. I want a Taylor Swift OMG. Like, yes, please. Can we please do that? Um, and Bratz, I just, I don't know. And Bratz is coming back too, so that's going to be craziness. But I'm, I'm not really sure about my dream Bratz doll, but eh, just more Megans. All right. So who are your top five dolls in your collection at the moment? So I kind of already answered this, you know, telling you my top, you know, couple of each doll line that I collect, but my top five American girls are Primrose, yeah, Primrose, Angel, um, Sienna, Merlot, and Yasmin. And that is confirmed in my ranking, all my American Girls video. And I do have a ranking Rainbow High video. The other doll lines, I don't have enough brats or OMGs to make a ranking video, so I do apologize. But yeah, those are my top five AGs. And it's very difficult to do that. I feel awful when I have to do that. So the second to last question is, how did you get into American Girl? So my dad's cousin, so she's my second cousin, she's 13 years older than me. She, her and her brother would babysit me and my brother. This was before my sister was born. And she had Samantha and Addie and she would let me play with them. So Samantha and Addie were the first American girls I ever saw. Now it took me until 2021 to get an Addie Walker in my collection, but we're just going to ignore that. So anyway, um, that is what got me into American Girl. And then I like, I probably told my parents or some crazy stuff. And then I got Kit for Christmas cause she looked like mini Kyla, which she doesn't anymore but that's kind of how I got into American Girl. And the very last question, the very last question is, how many years have you been collecting? So if we take into consideration when I got my first real American Girl doll, I was four. So it will be 20 years in December. However, there was a 10 year hiatus. I kind of count that as still collecting because I never got rid of my childhood dolls. So I wasn't actively collecting, but I never got rid of them. And I made a point to take them out once a year and brush their hair. So technically 20 in December, but it makes me sound really old. And when I tell people, oh, I have like this many dolls and I've been collecting since I was four, they're like, oh, so not very long. I'm like, no, two decades basically. So thank you guys so much for being a part of this very long winded series. I didn't know it was going to be this like, 
intense, but it was really fun. I absolutely enjoy when you guys ask me things. I think it helps you guys get to know me better and I kind of get to know you guys better because I get to know like what you guys are thinking. So thank you so much again for all your fabulous questions and 400 subscribers. You guys are phenomenal. Just keep it up, you guys, you're great. So if you have not already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody.